Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we have a rebuild that I'm extremely, extremely excited to get into, and that is the Toronto Raptors. So if you ask me personally, the Toronto Raptors are the biggest dark horse team for next NBA season, and the reason that I say that is because, you know, obviously the past few years have been kind of weird, especially in the world of sports. Uh, but especially the Toronto Raptors last year, man, as we all know, a lot of their players got sick. Uh, I remember Fred Van Vliet lost like 30 pounds, like in two weeks or something like that. And, uh, yeah, just wasn't really the same player. Uh, you also have the fact that the team was not playing in Toronto the entire season. So every single game essentially was an away game. So I just expect a big bounce back year for this team. And uh, I'm very happy for the Toronto Raptor fans that you guys get to have your team back in Toronto for the NBA season. It's going to be a lot of fun and really good atmosphere. So uh, before we get going on today's video, if you guys don't mind leaving a like, you know, man, really trying to incorporate the NBA 2K back into the channel and uh, really leaving that like not only shows support for this type of series, but also it really does help grow the channel uh, when it comes down to it, right, man? So let's go ahead and get going on to this rebuild. And uh, yes, so to start off this first season, a lot of Raptor fans kind of let me know that uh, Pascal Siakam is actually supposed to be missing like a little bit of the beginning of the season i had to do some more research it's gonna be like probably till roughly like mid november something like that so about the first month of the season um but when it comes down to it they got pascal as an 83 overall like i still think this is one of the most disrespected players in the nba like i get that his shots was not really going in from the clutch last season but i mean at the same time like look at the stats like the only thing that essentially went down was his three-point shot everything else you know, the scoring was roughly the same. Rebounding was the same. He was a better playmaker, so you can equate that to actually plus two to three points, which actually, in theory, gives him more affected points on the on the game. Uh, turnovers were, were lower. Like, played the same minutes, man. I don't really understand the Pascal Siakam disrespect. And I understand maybe he didn't play exactly the same with the same energy and aggression, but we know what the team was going through, right, man? So, expect a big bounce back season for him. Uh, we also got Fred Van Vliet. So, he was listed at shooting guard. I put him at point guard because that is what he's going to be playing next season, in my opinion. And he went up to an 85 overall, so that's nice to see. And I think it's a well-warranted uh, rating. I think he's a very great player. Uh, we got OG, who, you know, in my opinion, man, could be breakout for most improved player on the season. Uh, 24 years of age. Like, just you can just tell this kid's ready to go man like he's ready to ball out right so we got him uh we got chris boucher at the power forward position i'm cool with that man um you know he was a nice little bright, uh, bright spot for the team last year we got goran Dragic. <laughs> bro that was a dick move bro I, i'm just saying man like literally going on like <laughs> television and just like roasting your new team was not the right move right i understand you're 35 i understand you want to be contending and everything but also you know they offered you a buyout i'm pretty sure so you know do you want to contend or do you want to keep that $19 million? Regardless, not a long-term, uh, you know, guy on this team, in my opinion. Well, he's not, because he's 35 anyway. So, yeah, I mean, we turn to dust tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, we got Gary Trent. I loved Gary Trent on the uh, Portland Trailblazers. So, obviously, getting to see him in a full season on the Raptors is going to be a lot of fun. Like, this guy can definitely score the basketball. He'll be nice. Uh, and he's 6'5", too. He's got some decent height for him at the shooting guard spot. So, he'll be nice next to uh, Fred Van Vliet. We got Scotty Barnes, man. So, Scotty Barnes is going to be the most interesting player in this rebuild. The way I want to handle Scotty Barnes. Okay, right now he's listed at... Oh, uh, we got Burge, Shachua, uh, Speed McKayla. We got some other dudes on the team. Yeah, uh, very nice players. Um, Scotty Barnes did an amazing summer league. Like, this kid looks like he could be like... A, I don't want to say like the seal of the draft. Because he wasn't really a seal. Because they got him at... What was like the fourth pick or whatever. But uh, this is my plans for him, man. He's listed as a power forward, small forward. I am still extremely intrigued by the idea of point guard scotty barnes so i am going to do secondary power forward no i'm going to do uh primary power forward and secondary point guard i'm just i wish you could do like three or four positions because i really think this kid could play like the one through the four completely fine i really think he could do that in the nba uh, he's got that type of skill set so yes uh how we are going to be starting off this nba season like i said pascal is injured so we are going to go all in to scotty barnes and have him start at the power forward spot see what we can do in his first month in the nba season get his feet wet a little bit and kind of go from there we also got og you got gary you got fred van vliet you got ken birch um and you got some nice vets off the bench to run things right so it's going to be interesting. And then once uh, once we get the man back, you know, Pascal back in the lineup, then all of a sudden Scotty's is going to be back, you know, as like the sixth man of the team. And uh, like I was saying, like I kind of want him to be able to run like the one through four spots. So we'll kind of roll with that. So, yeah, we don't really got too much else going on for this NBA season. Um, I don't want to make too many moves. I don't like doing that in the first year. I just feel like it kind of takes away from what was just done in the offseason and everything. So, yes, uh, I guess we will go to the train. Let's go to the prep hub real quick and individual training. See how this is all looking uh og defense 
you know, I, I think he's already a great defensive player. Let's go ahead and uh, focus him more on like an all-around small forward. I really think, you know, if he can add, well, he's already averaging 16 points a game, so he can score everything. But, you know, the playmaking and just some of the little tweaks to his game is going to take him really far. Uh, so we got Scotty Barnes as athletic power forward. Am I good with that? I don't know, man. Power forward. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go with... Man, I, I want to utilize, utilize his athleticism for sure, but he's got so much more to his game than just athleticism. Let's go with two-way. Let's go with two-way for him, too. Okay, there we go. Uh, or two-way, I guess, you know, three... I, not really three and D, but offense, defense, whatever it may be. Uh, Ken Birch, athletic, bonga, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Pascal, two-way. Offense for Gary Trent, all around for Fred. Okay, that all looks good to me. Uh... Yeah, we don't really have too much more to go on with. I think we're going to go ahead and simulate, you know, like that first month of the season and kind of go from there. Uh, we do have a three and a half star perimeter centric team with Nick Nurse. That looks good to me. Uh, how's balance looking? That's his preferred. Okay, we'll go with perimeter centric still. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and simulate this first month, get to Pascal being back, and we'll kind of see how things are looking at that point. Okay, so he actually healed a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, it was about six games into the season. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this rotation manually um yeah let's, like, like let's see how scotty barnes did like in his first five games so as a starter 10 points nine rebounds five assists damn bro the thing that kind of irks you a little bit is the 32 percent field goal percentage and the 21 percent from three that's obviously a lot of room for improvement right there but also you know it's his first few games of the season so you got that um also i want to see how gary trent's doing because gary trent's not playing better then I'm thinking I might actually go with Scotty playing a different position. Like, is it, ooh, he's playing good too. 18 points. Damn, man. I, I knew I was going to run into this into this rebuild. Do I go with Pascal at center? What am I subscribed? I actually posted it on Twitter, guys. I was like, how do I want to run this? I, I don't want to like... Do I do Pascal at center? I guess, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, let me get it back out of that. Uh, okay, okay. I, I think we have to try that. Hopefully his rain doesn't like drop like crazy. Okay, it actually stays at an 83. And he's 6'9". So, you know, I got that big uh, big Ben Wallace height or whatever. Uh, I just, I don't want to take Scotty off the starting line, man. I don't. So, we're going to try this out. I'm not a huge fan, personally, of center Pascal. But I feel like for this season, it's probably the best route. So, okay, we're going to rock it out with that, man. Um, and he still plays power forward at times. Like, so Scotty plays some point guard at times, too. So, we'll do that. We have Boucher, Goran, Dragic, uh, Ken Birch, um... Yeah, we're probably going to take... Oh, Precious is actually playing good. So, let's actually take away Ken Birch's minutes here, I guess. Just because somebody has to be, you know, the sacrifice here, unfortunately speaking. And we have an eight-man rotation. Uh, let's give let's give uh, Flynn some minutes here. He's a pretty solid player. So, we'll give him some minutes. Scotty playing at about 30. So, I really want to go all in. Okay, let's get you at about 30. As you can see, we're definitely leaning into the starters this season and everything. But uh, I think that's okay. Alrighty, that looks pretty good, man. I don't know if we're a playoff team with this. It definitely is more of like a experimental type of season, but let's simulate the rest of it and kind of see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we did make the NBA playoffs, roughly the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference. See how this last game against the Knicks goes. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that result. Like that's, I, mean, I totally expect this team to be a playoff team, right? So simulate through date and finish with a L on the season. So seventh in the conference, James Harden MVP. We got Cade as rookie of the year. So I was hoping Scotty Barnes playing more would have put him in that discussion but obviously it did not uh, all nba first all nba second all nba third and then we got the all rookie teams with scotty barnes actually making it so that's nice to see up to a 77 overall i was hoping for a little bit more progression but hopefully during the nba offseason he will be able to achieve that so yes uh first round we have the are we in the play-in tournament oh oh i forgot uh, i forgot about that Ooh. okay so we're not technically in the playoffs yet damn bro okay player sets on the season uh so we got freddie at 21 and 7 we got pascal at 18 8 and 4 but yeah what a washed up player right uh we got gary trent at 17 goran Dragic doing his thing off the bench we got og at 12 i was gonna make some more scoring out of him not gonna lie uh then scotty barnes 10 points 7 rebounds 5 assists and uh, the field goal percentage actually got a little bit better if, over the course of the season. So that's nice. But you can definitely see the all-around game with him, right? So there's the rest of the stats. Okay, here we go, man. Uh, simulate playing tournament. Oh, no, we're there. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Did we win? Wait. Wait. So Miami. Oh, so Miami's already in it. Okay, because we lost, but we were the seventh season, so we get another chance. Okay, so we're in the playoffs. Against the Brooklyn Nets. 
Shit. Okay. <laughs> Simulate round. Let's get over with. Thank you for putting me out of my misery, 2K. It took you a little while, but you got there in the end. So, simulate playoffs. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get this offseason, man. So, uh, yeah, probably be a little bit of a quicker offseason since I spent so much at the beginning of the video kind of explaining things. But, uh, draft lottery, I don't know if we have somebody's pick or not. So, I don't, uh, you know, I don't like to, like, skip this anymore just because, like, it seems like I always have somebody's pick. Uh, not this time around, though. So, that's all right. We end up getting the uh, 16th pick in the draft. Definitely, you can do something with that. Uh, I do think the focus is probably probably a backup point guard, although I do like Flynn, so I guess I'm not too sure on that. Uh, let's go to the coaching right here, big man perimeter defense. Uh, okay, I'm not too concerned about that right now. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft and just kind of see who's available at that 16th spot. My first rebuild where I don't have like a top five pick, so this is going to be a little bit interesting. Uh, sim to user pick. Okay, so 16th pick in the draft. The Raptors are on the clock. And here we go, choose prospects. So as far as people that are available, uh, so we got Osman Diang, small forward available. We got Matt Cleveland, another small forward. We got Hunter. I know he's a really solid player. Marcus Bagley, J.D. Davidson, Ty Ty Washington. Uh, yeah, I do think I'm going to go with point guard. I tr so this guy it looks like he's a scoring point guard inside the arc score. Here we got a shooting point guard in J.D. Um, but this guy is six now with a seven, two wingspan. I just don't feel like he'll ever get like a good opportunity on this team. Uh, I'm going to go with my dude, Hunter Salas right here. I know he's always pretty solid six, five, and hopefully he can be like, uh, well, not only, you know, is Fred like 29, so he's getting up there in age a little bit, but also, uh, Goran Dragic's knocked me back on the team. So yeah, that'll be nice for us, whether he plays this season or not. He'll be kind of more of a, more of a guy that can be part of the future plans. Okay. Uh, so we get him signed up. He's a 73 overall player. So yeah, definitely not playing too much this season. Uh, team player options, Precious is back, uh, Flynn we will bring back on the team, good with that, qualifying offers, uh, Freddie and Yuta, um, you know, man, like, solid players, I, I, I respect them and everything, oh, I don't know if I, uh, Yuta got done, got pretty bad, but I'm just gonna say, but I do not plan on personally using them in this rebuild, so I'm gonna let them go to a different team and save my money, right, okay, so moratorium period, at this point, uh, I don't think we have too much money available to us, like, we can definitely sign some dudes, but, uh, yeah, I'd like to get Chris Boucher back on the team, no doubt. Uh, no doubt about that. Get him back on the squad, so let's make sure that's a thing first. And because uh, he agrees to a three-year $37 million deal, that feels about right. Uh, anybody else I really want to go for at the moment? We got to sign Weiss for about $3 million. I mean, not a huge fan, but a veteran player that can grab some rebounds and block some shots so i'll get him on the team just because like our center position i do think is oh he's going to the grizzlies okay well screw you then man i take back everything i said it was all lies it was all lies uh what about delon wright he's he was on this team before wasn't he he was on toronto before yeah uh i like delon wright um he could be nice for us right now he's like a kind of like a combo type of guard for this team so we'll get him on the squad and the center position i might have to do something about that via trade not really sure yet man but uh yeah, let's go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Kind of see what we have at this point and uh, go from there. Okay, guys. So this is the team we are going to be running with this season. Still might do a trade or two here, but uh, we are going all in into Scotty Barnes at point guard. We are trying it out for a season. He's got Fred Van Vliet, another you know, primary ball handler in the backcourt with him. We got OG at the three. We got Pascal at the four. And then you still got Ken Burch at center right here. Uh, that's what I kind of want to improve. But I actually really love the idea of Gary Trent and Chris Boucher off the bench. I feel like that gives us one of the best benches in the NBA. Um, and it just works out nicely. So overall, this is pretty solid. I just want to see maybe if we can get a little bit something better at the center spot. Nothing against Ken Birch. Just, you know, trying to upgrade the position the best we can. We didn't have the greatest season. So, Ken Birch, I'm going to toss in... I'm actually going to toss in our lottery pick here, man. I'm going to toss in Salas because I actually like Malachi Flynn as a future backup point guard for this team going forward. So, uh, then a first-round pick. And we're going to see what's offered up. Hopefully, it's something solid. We got Dante. We got Ty Ty and Robert Will. Ooh, 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 that's good. Uh, we got Zubats and Keon Johnson. Okay, okay, okay. Kyle Anderson, Book Knight, Tyrese Halliburton, beastly trade, but we don't really need him. Jonas Valachun is back on the team with Emmanuel quickly. Okay, uh, Jackson Hayes, Sadiq Bay, Isaiah Stewart. Um, all really good trades here, man. Um, I really like uh, Daniel Gafford a lot too, but I think 
I think I'm gonna go with this trade right here. I'm gonna get Robert Williams. He just seems like the perfect center for this team. So let's get him on the squad. And uh, we also get Ty Ty Washington, who was around the same pick as our Hunter dude was anyway. So that works out nicely for us. So yes, there we go, man. Uh, welcome to the team, Robert Williams. You are literally the perfect piece for the squad. And you got a very friendly contract. So yes, that will be the starting five. I can't imagine it's gonna change too much in this rebuild. But then again, we don't win a championship soon. Something's gonna have to change down the line. So uh, we will go with this nine-man rotation. That looks good to me. Nothing else really too crazy to do here. I want to get uh, maybe OG playing a little bit more Pascal at about 33. All right, man. Let's go ahead and simulate the second season. See how this new look uh, Scotty Barnes point guard team can do. Okay, guys. So this team absolutely balled out this season, man. Second in the conference. Um, I just feel like it was about time. Like it was. I was right for this team to break out. Scotty Barnes, I'm going to imagine, had a great season if we did this well. Uh, Robert Williams seems like he was like the missing piece of that center position. We got one more game against the Rockets. So 63 wins for this Raptors team. I also want to see how that bench did too, man. That bench was absolutely crazy. Finished the W on the season. Giannis MVP. Chet as rookie of the year. Tyrese Maxey, six man. Giannis defensive player. Jaden McDaniels most improved. I was hoping for Scotty on that, but it's only his second season and everything. So um, I guess that makes sense. So we got the all NBA teams here looking like this. Uh, okay, okay. So, yeah, man, we are first in the conference. Let's go to these player stats on the season real quick here, man. So, player stats. We got Pascal at 22. We got Freddie at 21. Scotty Barnes at 16, 8, and 7. Oh, my God. You look at that field goal percentage, too, man. It's going 34 from three? Yes, sir, baby. Okay, Gary Trent. Um... Uh, I thought was going to take like a step back, but it's like a six man. Those are really good, efficient numbers. Um, OG still continues to just kind of like be there, man. I'm not liking what they do to OG in this game at times. Not going to lie. Uh, Boucher and Rob Williams combined for like the most beastly center in the NBA, like a two headed monster almost type of thing. Oh, uh, well, I guess Boucher was a power forward technically, man. But yeah, this team was perfect. So, alrighty. Um, uh, you know, real quick here, let me go to the shooting tendencies for OG. It's at a 58. Okay, so maybe that's why he's not shooting the most, but it bumped up a little bit, I guess. Maybe it will help. I don't really know, man. Um, So disrespectful to him, but let's go ahead and simulate this play. Who we got first round? We got the Atlanta Hawks. So simulate round right here. See how this goes. Woohoo! Seven game series, 2K. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. That's about as bad as it's gotten so far. So 32, 3, and 5 for uh, Fred. Uh, we got Scotty at 18, 11, and 5, and we got 23, 9, and 8 for Pascal. This team is playing so great. Okay. Uh, next up, Charlotte Hornets. Simulate round. See how this goes. Get them four games to one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, nothing really to talk about this game. It was overall good. Uh, next up, Milwaukee Bucks. I feel like we can beat the Bucks. We can beat Memphis or Minnesota, no doubt. Simulate round. And we get them four games to one, guys. We're in the NBA Finals right here behind 31 5 and 8 for Freddie. So I guess having him as shooting guard is actually the best bet, right? Uh, yo, Scotty. Oh my God. 163 to 156 y'all see that score <laughs> they got gordon hayward interesting i actually kind of like that uh memphis grizzlies the fifth or yeah the fifth seed who do they currently have ja oladipo brooks and the rest are nobodies i'm just joking um okay here we go simulate rounds and there we have it man nba champions baby NBA champions Fred Van Vliet as your finals MVP now I know when I win a championship I tend to end the video but I want to give this team one more go just because I'm so intrigued by them I'm so in I, I want to see I want to see Scotty break out even more man so okay uh staff signing all that we're not gonna it's not gonna be much of an offseason like I said I'm most make them want to see how the simulation goes with Scotty for another season at point guard but uh rookie signings we get this dude okay welcome to the squad team player options Ooh. Okay, this could get a little interesting. Oh, uh, we got to get Fred Van Vliet back on the team. Here we go. Free agency. Come on, man. Where you at? How much you want? 19 million. That's actually not a bad contract at all. That's actually really solid that he's asking for that. So I'm going to give him his money. Give him 20 million, man. A little extra on the top for finals MVP. Okay, so he accepts that. Um, and beyond that, like, we already have, like, our team. So, yeah, I think everybody signed up for, like, multiple seasons already. Let me let me make sure, I suppose. But, yeah, bird rights um yeah i don't really care too much about those guys they're like a superstar we can go for here too man we got the money right not quite okay gonna go ahead and simulate uh i think at this point i'm just gonna simulate to the end of next season and just kind of see where we're at with things okay so rinse and repeat uh as last season man like we were a great team the team pretty much came back fully intact we got one game against memphis right here it's time we got 64 wins simulate through date and finish with a l on the season of course uh joel Embiid as mvp amoni bates rookie of the year on the suns Ooh, that could be nasty man that could be a nasty fit uh we got beef stew as six man okay okay kara lewis most improved good for him on that 
uh, all NBA first, all NBA second, all NBA third, looking like that. And uh, yeah, man, let's go with these player stats on the season. Just kind of see how everybody did again. See if we can, you know, be back-to-back -back champions too. So Pascal, 18, 17 for Gary Trent, 17, 8, and 7 for Scotty. So that's kind of about what his range has been. Fred and uh, Ty Ty was nice. Um, OG a little bit better scoring-wise, but still disrespectful to him. <laughs> all things considered. Okay, here we go. Who do we got first round this playing, man? Simply playing. We got the Washington Wizards. Oh, pff, easy, easy, easy. I don't know. Maybe they'll be difficult. Maybe they got LeBron. Well, LeBron would be about 90 at this point. So simulate round and uh whoo, 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 I was talking some trash too. I was oh let's get back and bit me bear. Uh bro, uh, is that Mikel? Miles. Okay. Uh we got the Brooklyn Nets. Easy. What I say, man. I said it was easy, right? I said it was easy. <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all precious! My precious! Damn! Trying to win the one ring to rule them all, baby. Okay, okay. Oh, they still got KD and Durant. Or they still got KD and Kyrie and James Harden. We still beat their asses down. Okay, man, here we go. Boston Celtics. I ain't afraid of nobody now, man. Simulate round. Give me that. Give me that! <laughs> okay. 22 or 23 for Gary. Let's get it. Okay, see Thunder. Simulate round. And there you have it, man. Back to back champions getting done that second time around. Fred Van Vliet as your finals MVP, man. So, uh, yes. Uh, like I said, I was not really too concerned about winning a championship in this video. I think the Raptors are very underrated. I think they got a lot better team than people are giving them credit for because of a lot of unfortunate X factors from last NBA season. So there we have it, man. If Scotty Barnes can become the next greatest NBA player of all time, then uh, you're going to win back-to-back -back champions. So that's all we got. Thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.